that every investor is now asking is when will this market mayhem end? Let's do a three-point analysis of the present market crisis taking lessons from 2008-9 meltdown. Number one, the trigger. The present crisis in the global equity markets is driven by the coronavirus pandemic, whereas the global financial crisis in 2008-9 was a financial sector meltdown which was triggered by a collapse of a financial institution. The effect of both the events on the economy may not be dissimilar if we talk about a recession. In the current scenario, the damage depends on the time taken to contain the spread of the virus, in which case a period of severe contraction will be followed by a V-shaped recovery. Number 2. Coronavirus-led market reaction Global growth hit a low of 2.9% in 2019 mainly because of trade wars. Now it is certain that 2020 is set to see lower growth because of the damage caused by coronavirus. OECD also has cut its growth forecast to 2.4% against its previous estimate of 2.9% with a warning that it could fall to around 1.5%. On average, equity markets have corrected by a little over 30% in the past month, still short of the 50% correction seen in 2008-9. While forecasting a bottom is difficult, we can say with reasonable certainty that a bottom formation will happen across global markets together, just like in 2009. Number 3. Bond Yield versus Earnings Yield If we speak rationally, the way of looking at the correction is to see the gap between the earnings yield and the bond yield at the bottom of the market. What happens at the bottom of the market? Well, the stocks become cheaper, earnings yield surges and the gap between the bond yield and the earning yield narrows and may even turn negative if there is extreme pessimism. If we compare the earnings yield of S&P 500 at the bottom in 2009, there was a negative gap of 5.5% comparing 1-year forward earnings and 10-year bond yield. On the assumption of a 5% decline in S&P 500 earnings in 2020, there is a similar negative gap of 5.5% as was the case in 2009. If you look at the Nifty in 2009 at the bottom, in the negative gap of 2.2%. At the current juncture, there is a positive gap of 0.7%. So in theory, markets could correct more. A correction that takes the market to a zone where the earnings yield is more attractive than the yield on bonds is unlikely to sustain and long-term investors should start looking at the market in that zone.